Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the new search box in Windows 11. Basically, for the last few builds for the dev channel of the Windows Insider program, Microsoft talked about a new redesigned search box for Windows Insiders, but this feature was only available to some Windows Insiders, and I think it still is available only to some Windows Insiders. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how it looks and what is different from the initial search box in Windows 11. Before continuing with the topic, please don't forget to leave a like down below this video if you enjoy videos like these where we talk about different Windows 11 features and also don't forget to subscribe to the tech base channel for more great content like this. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by DVOM. I will show you their D2 Plus Bluetooth speaker in particular, which is a very powerful speaker with a design representing a retro computer. It has a curved screen similar to an old CRT TV in a classic design. The small keyboard is mechanical and the joystick is reminiscent again of old school arcade. You can also have access to the DVOM smartphone app, which will add much more functionality to the speaker and includes a library of pixel art created by an active community. It allows you to get creating your own art with relative ease or select one of the thousand of art pieces or animations that already exist. With infinite ways of customizing and high quality audio, DVOM Dito Plus Bluetooth speaker is a product to have if you like pixel art and good quality music. Check out the DVOM Dito Plus Bluetooth speaker at the links below in the video's description. Let's continue with the video. As you can see, I'm now on the build 22593. I'm not even on the latest build of the Windows Insider program for the dev channel, but even in this build, I have access to the new search box in Windows 11. So let me just show it to you. You. This is how the new search box looks. As I've said, it is completely redesigned. Let's begin from up top. As you can see, when I'm opening it, I have a search suggestion. So for example, if Microsoft will see that you are interested in football or anything like that, it will suggest you different topics that you can search to and will also have a nice little display here that can help you search for that certain thing. Of course, when you click away, that suggestion will go away and you can search for whatever you want. Now, down below, you have suggested items. So you have the Get Started app and all kinds of apps that you've used before, of course. You have the Today's Date and also some of the headlines for the date of today, of course. And also down below, you also have some trending searches and this will basically help you stay in touch with what's going on in the world. And of course, once you click on a certain topic, you will be redirected to the Microsoft Bing page where it will tell you certain news about a certain subject that you selected. As I've said, all these suggestions are based on content that you usually search for using the Bing search engine and also apps that you frequently use using the search box. Of course, we have the options button here with, as you can see, a tooltip that wasn't updated to match the Windows 11 experience. If we click on these three dots, we have turn on cloud search for your Microsoft account, add a work or school account, search settings, indexing options. Search settings will basically open up the Microsoft settings app, where of course you can have access to search permissions. This was here before. And also you can have access to indexing options, which is now a part of the settings app for quite some time. This was part of the old control panel and for quite some time for a few builds, this is part of the settings app. And then if you search for a certain app, you will see that the design remains the same as it was before. It will give you the best match, the apps, the settings, and also the option to search the web and options regarding the best match app that you have that was here before. So as you can see, this is the new redesigned search box for Windows 11. I'm really looking forward to opinions on this in the comments down below. Of course, I'm not really a fan of web suggestions in Windows, but hopefully Microsoft will not try to introduce also ads based on personal interest or something like that. If they leave it as this is, I think it also looks really nice. It has a cool design and could be really useful for some people. For those of you wondering how to get this new search box, of course, make sure to be up to date on the dev channel, make sure to be on the latest dev build, and you should soon get it if you don't have it yet because as I've said at the beginning of the video this is only available for some Windows Insiders. This was the video for today I hope you liked it as I've said don't forget to leave a like down below this video and also subscribe to the tech base channel to stay tuned because today we're probably gonna have a new dev channel build and we will have a new video on the channel about that build. I was Emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day.